If the follow unfollow method on Instagram drives you crazy or frustrates you or makes you all cranky pants or is just making Instagram not fun for you at all, I want you to watch this video. I have a perspective shift that has helped me to not feel frustrated and not drain my energy when I show up on Instagram and I think it will help you too. So hit that like button and let's talk. Welcome back. If you're new here, welcome for the first time. My name is Tara Wagner. I'm a belief breakthrough coach with almost a decade of experience. I teach female entrepreneurs how to overcome the limiting beliefs, mindsets, or even bad habits that are holding them back in their business. And you must know that this video is going to be a little bit of a loving smacked out emphasis on the loving part of it because I really do get it. I have totally been there frustrated AF over my fluctuating numbers. And I, I understand, I know what you're going through. It can feel very frustrating, but it shouldn't. It doesn't need to. And I don't want you to spend one more iota of energy <laughs> on things that actually don't matter in your business. There is nothing helpful about watching our numbers go up and down on Instagram. Really what this does is just impact how we're gonna show up, how we're gonna engage with new followers, how we're gonna engage with our current followers, and just in general, how we're gonna feel about the whole process. Our focus creates our mindset. So where we put our time and energy is gonna create how we feel about what we're doing or how much energy we have to invest in something. This is why this is so important to stop caring about. Even if you don't like it, even if you'll never do it for yourself, stop stressing about it. Stop allowing this thing that happens, this strategy that you don't like to impact how you want to show up and how you want to feel with the people who are authentically there to engage with you. Stop paying attention to the number of followers you have and start paying attention to the people that are liking your posts, that are commenting on your posts, that are sending you DMs because those are your people and they deserve serve 100% of your energy. And so if we're spending one iota of energy on the wrong people, the wrong things, we're stealing it from the people that deserve it the most. So how do we do this? How do we shift our focus from something that is frustrating us, that we don't like, that we don't agree with, but that is robbing our energy and our time and our focus and impacting the way that we feel? Step number one is to uninstall those unfollow apps, the apps that tell you who's following and unfollowing you. Why? Why do we need to see this? Again, that puts the focus on the people who were not a good fit for you, and it takes it off the people who are a good fit, the ones that you want to be spending your time and energy on. Don't waste 60 seconds of your day looking at who's unfollowing you. Spend your time and energy on the people who are engaging with you because those are your people. Number two, we really get to understand what our thoughts and our emotions are telling us. So every thought, every emotion, what it's trying to convey to you is something that you're needing or even some belief that you have. This is what creates your thoughts and emotions around things, even what creates our opinions. So when you can start to kind of look beneath the surface of your thoughts and your emotions, you can start to understand the underlying beliefs and any needs that you can address. When you address the beliefs and the needs, the thoughts and the emotions start to change organically and without as much effort. So instead of trying to change the way you feel, start meeting your needs, start addressing those beliefs so that you always feel good. And then number three, and this is the one that has been my saving grace that totally shifted everything for me, and that is to adopt a new mindset. There's actually three things that I want you to look at here. The first is that it doesn't actually matter. There are a lot of metrics that matter in a successful business, but the fluctuation of your follower account does not pay your bills. Drop me a comment below with bills if you agree. Next, and this is the one that has helped me a lot, choose to view the people that are utilizing this strategy with friendly compassion. And here's what I mean. We are all doing the best we can with the tools 
or the knowledge that we have. And every entrepreneur is gonna experiment, they're gonna try new things, they're gonna try to save time, they're gonna try to do what they can based on the tools or the skills or the knowledge that they have. When we can view another entrepreneur with just friendly compassion, like, hey, sister, I know you're testing some stuff out, not really for me, but that's okay, you do you, I'll do me. What that does is just free us up emotionally. We're no longer focusing on something that's just going to frustrate us and create a bigger divide between us. We don't need that, especially female entrepreneurs. We do not need to be hating on each other because we're all doing the best that we can. So view these people with friendly compassion and just allow yourself to let it go. And then finally, choose to view these new follows not as a strategy to gain their numbers, but as a strategy to make an introduction. And here's what I mean by that. In a day and age where Instagram's algorithm can be a real bitch, people are using the follow and follow method as a way of saying, hello, am I for you? Or maybe, hello, are you for me? When I started to view it through that lens, it allowed me to realize that, hey, I might actually find some people that I really like, that really are for me. And I might find some people that aren't, and that's okay. I can say hello and goodbye. And all of that is fine. If I follow them and they choose to unfollow me, good. That means they weren't my people. And I don't want people who aren't my people on my Instagram dragging down my engagement rate because they don't actually want to see what I'm putting out there. And the same goes for you. The right people are the people who are engaging, not just following. Your follower count means nothing. Your engagement is where it's at, where you can connect with people. That's where it's at. That's where our time and energy needs to go. So these new follows are a hello. Maybe you're a good fit. Maybe you're not a good fit. Maybe we're a good fit for each other. And if not, goodbye. And that's Bye. all that is. Again, the point here is not to say whether or not the follow unfollow method is a good strategy or if people should use it. That's beyond the point. There's a quote by Rumi that says, out beyond the ideas of right doing and wrong doing is a field. I'll meet you there. That's what I'm talking about here. I'm talking about moving beyond all of that and getting into a field where we can play a really good game, where we can feel amazing, where we can show up in the best way possible, where we can create success in our business without getting dragged into the cat and dog fight that other people wanna get dragged into. Don't waste your time and energy on that. You are freaking amazing. And what you're doing and putting out into the world is freaking amazing, but it's not for everybody. Every strategy that everybody else tries is not gonna be for you. So again, they do them, you do you, but you feel good while you're doing it. Let go of anything that is dragging your energy down or taking you in a direction that is not helpful or useful in your business or in your own personal development. And if you find that you need more coaching on up-leveling your mindset and feeling stress-free as an entrepreneur, I want you to do two things. Number one, I want you to subscribe because I put out weekly videos for female entrepreneurs who want to crush their goals, not their soul. And number two, I want you to grab my free bottlenecks to breakthroughs training, which will teach you how to up-level your mindset so that you can start up-leveling your business. Then leave us a comment letting us know how you have felt about the follow unfollow method on Instagram and how you want to feel about it now. Give this video a thumbs up and share this with other female entrepreneurs that also are driven crazy by this method on Instagram. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.